I move amendments 1, 2, 5 and 7 on the sheet revised May 24, 2023, as circulated in my name together. These amendments are simple improvements to the Infrastructure Australia Bill. They do two things. Firstly, they create a requirement for that Infrastructure Australia publishes the infrastructure audits which it undertakes from time to time. It has surprised me to learn that no such requirement currently exists. That it is possible Infrastructure Australia could take a strategic audit of the nation's infrastructure and not actually have to make that audit publicly available. Some would say that scenario is unlikely, and fair enough. But the standards of transparency in infrastructure investment are so parlous that I believe the Parliament should legislate to require publication. Order. Not just there of these too much noise audits, in the chamber. but much more of the material which is used by government to consider infrastructure investments. The second thing this, amendment sets, this set of amendments um, does is to require Infrastructure Australia to collect project cost data once the projects are complete. It astonishes me that this is not already commonplace and that there are no established mechanisms by which we can learn the lessons from past projects to better inform our future decisions. There is already a kind of post-completion report prepared by state governments, but these are not public, and I understand these reports are gen generally inadequate for any kind of learning. This should change, and my amendment would lay the foundations for this to begin. As I said, these changes are simple improvements to the bill, which could have a large and positive impact on the value of that Australians receive from the enormous amounts of money which is invested in infrastructure projects. Thank you. The 